subscribers. I hope everybody's having an all right day. Um, I'm gonna grab one of these PVC pipes here and get started warming up. Uh, it's gonna be a leg day. We're hitting, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I don't know how good this audio is gonna come out if you heard those, oh, awesome, awesome lower back pops. Um, we hit legs today. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably do a lot of squat max work because I don't really want to, I don't know if I, I, I just don't know if I'm down to hit the barbell to uh, do my squats, deadlifts, hip thrusts. I'm going to see if maybe I can't get all of those exercises done on my squat max, uh, which will be kind of fun because I haven't used the hip thrust attachment uh, just yet. So that'll be fun trying to figure that out. And then maybe throw in some reverse hypers and some leg extensions on the reverse hyper. Uh, I don't know how that'll feel uh, with what I've been doing lately. I've been putting a band around the uh, one of the supports there on the reverse hyper and uh, been going to town uh, using that plus the weight. It feels phenomenal when I'm doing reverse hypers. But you can also kind of turn around and somewhat use it as a leg extension machine. Uh, I'll show y'all here, here in the next few, but uh, stick around. We got legs and legs on the squat max. Let's see what it is. All right, so what are y'all? Okay, so I already tried to record this one time, but it didn't sync up with the video, so I don't know why that happened. But in any, in any case, in any case, we're warming up for legs legs here on uh, on leg day obviously not because it's shoulder we're gonna do legs on shoulder day right no we're not uh, warming up on the air bike just trying to get some blood flow into the quads there uh, I did that for about three four minutes not too long really y'all just enough to get the heart rate going get the blood pumping and once again feel a little bit of a stimulation in the quads before we you know get into the actual lifting part uh, follow that up with some banded reverse Nordic curls. I don't know why they call them Nordic curls because it's more of like an extension, you know? It's kind of like an extension, like a leg extension. In any case, I love these exercises, y'all. This, ex this exercise in particular helps to stretch the quads like no other, like never felt before, y'all. Uh, I really feel it's, it's boosted my athleticism through the roof. Uh, my hips feel more strong, more elastic. Uh, than ever before and I used to deal with a lot of low back pain uh, not necessarily as much anymore due to that exercise I really want to give credit where credit is due on that one uh, followed that up with some banded glute kicks or some side kicks that I like to call them and just because you know uh, more or less the very end of this position it's pretty much a side kicking uh, shape really y'all um, just really helping to stretch out the the hamstrings the back of the leg there uh, once again, same idea with the quads. Just wanted to promote a little bit of stimulation, get the brain ready for everything that we're about to put the body through, y'all. Uh, just big ranges of motion, promoting flexibility, promoting just strength through extremely large ranges of motion. You can't go wrong, y'all. This is helping to strengthen up the hips, strengthen up the entire leg, balance, coordination. I mean, there's a whole lot of boxes being checked off with that, but from there, we move straight on into the squat max uh, work. So I've got two 35 pound plates on the squat max. So a total of 70 pounds here for the first set to warm up. And I did four sets of 25 reps. Now, I don't, I don't necessarily recommend that for everybody or, or really even myself. But on this particular day, I felt really good. I had some food in the system and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I really, I, I want these quads, man. I want, I want, I want these quads from the gods and, and, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to, to get them there. So I went with the high rep on this one and, and, uh, and really the machine itself helps to lend itself to be able to doing things like that because if I were to be able to if I were to do that on a barbell squat y'all I would have been so cooked so cooked because of the axial loading on this machine here there is no axial loading it's all loaded right there at the hip so it's pulling down from your hips which kind of gives it somewhat of a decompressive effect right 
Uh, if you have low back issues, this machine might actually feel pretty good when it's all loaded up because all that weight is pulling down on you and it's kind of helping to stretch out just a little bit, y'all. But now I've got two 35s, uh, a pair of 25s, and then another pair of 25s. So in total, that's 70 plus 50 plus another 50. That's 170 pounds, y'all. 170 pounds coming down on my hips. But this was the last set of 25, y'all. The very, very last set of 25. So that's why I'm taking... I'm taking some big breaks in between those in between those reps, but even still, even still, I'm doing my best to try to milk that negative portion of the rep, milk the eccentric, y'all. The eccentric and the stretch component of any movement are usually the most hypertrophic parts of the movement. Look, 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 look. And we're getting, we, it's getting serious, y'all. We got sweat dripping off the forehead. I mean, it's collecting there on the, on, on the floor. There was some spit. There was some, there, were, there, there were words. There's nobody in the gym. It's just me, right? So I'm just talking to myself, talking shit. But once again, you cannot, you cannot, cannot uh, overlook the fact that this machine here doesn't load the spine. And we can do crazy amounts of reps and get crazy stimulation for the legs, uh, which is exactly what we were going for here, y'all. So once again, 175, 170 pounds on the belt, uh, working everything from quads, AD ductors, glutes. Here we are taking a bit of a break because I think this was probably around the, fifth, the 12 to 15 rep mark right here. And, and I was like, man, more than likely 15, because I think I, I finished off these last 10 reps coming up right here. Um, one thing I need to work on on this machine here is getting more comfortable taking my hands off the, uh, the poles there. Uh, no pun intended. Insert jokes here. Uh, but I want to work on getting my hands away from that. That way I can really feel more of the load completely through my hips okay insert jokes there as well anyway uh just speeding through some of this footage y'all just really trying to get that good technique moving on into from the squat max uh belt squat over to barbell hip thrust now i know i said i was going to try to jack with some of the uh the settings there in the squat max but i was already mentally fatigued from that machine i was like nah i gotta change the vibe i gotta change the scenery so i went over to barbell hip thrust but once again check that technique y'all slow here we go fast concentric but then a slow eccentric on the way down nice gentle touch and then spring it right on back up with a slow eccentric right on the way down only got 135 pounds on the bar there, so we got the full, the 45 pound bar, and then two 45 pound plates there. Uh, just for, once again, just kind of warming up with it, y'all. But uh, really wanted a glute focused exercise to be able to stimulate that part of the body uh, in a kind of isolation, uh, isolatory fashion. If that's even a word, isolatory. I don't know. If it's not a word, I just made it up. Webster's hit me up, okay? Going through a few more reps of this. I got about three to four sets. No, I think four sets. Four sets of 15 reps, y'all. But just working on that tech, working on that technique. Now, this exercise in particular is one that I like to throw in in between the sets. It's just kind of, uh, look, I know some people have, don't feel that great about the word prehab, but... I like to throw this one in because it just checks off the box of stimulating glute medius, which is in charge of keeping your knees in track, which is also in charge of making sure that your lower back isn't uh, isn't compensating for any kinds of weakness. So I've got a unilateral uh, banded abduction, okay, abduction of the leg, just meaning that the leg is being taken away from the center line of the body. Just think like aliens are abducting my leg away from the center but just to stimulate that part of the body and keep everything safe and working the way that it should moving into the most heavy set right here we've got 225 plus 225 so that 275 on the bar y'all but the technique remains the same controlled eccentric there we go with a gentle touch at the bottom and boom come right on back up with a nice athletic concentric portion of the movement once again, superb control, nice gentle touch, and come on the way up. Sped up the footage a little bit because it, it, it was, it was. if I left it alone, we'd be here for like three days, y'all, and ain't nobody trying to be here for like three days. So I, I, I feel it. I feel that. Not even me. I'm not trying to be here for three days neither, y'all. But it's so important that even at a heavy, heavy, heavy intensity, that technique remains the same. Technique and good technique will keep you in this game for a long time to come, y'all. Get that bar on off the hips. Here comes here comes the wife. Here comes the beautiful wife. Boom! Right there. 
running through, having a good old time, y'all. So followed up the glute uh, barbell hip thrusts with some cable pull throughs, y'all. Now I'm trying on this one to just feel a deep, deep stretch in the hamstrings. And let me tell you something, I'm filming this about like four days after, I'm filming this commentary about four days after this workout, I'm still, feeling this exercise in my hamstrings, y'all. But look at the range of motion. Look at the range of motion. I'm not rounding my lower back. I'm keeping it nice and nice and nice and, you know, we'll call it tight, you know, but I'm really just focusing on having a deep, big stretch in those hamstrings, y'all. This range of motion right here is where it's all at. Take a look at the technique, okay? Once again, big stretch there at the bottom, and then boom, fast concentric controlled eccentric hold that stretch hold it feel that shit and then we come right on back up again a little slight adjustment i'm working with about 80 pounds here nothing too crazy but just enough to feel the stimulation y'all it's about stimulating the muscles it's not about throwing around weight it's not about being stupid and just like, yo i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna throw around hundreds fuck bro i mean yeah that's great i'm glad you can do that and hey it's a blessing bro for real for real but if building muscle is the goal, then stimulation is where we're trying to be. So followed up the hamstring work with the uh, some single leg leg extensions, really, on the reverse hyperextension. Now this isn't what this machine is necessarily made for, and I've been kind of eh, I've been kind of experimenting with this here and there. But I uh, I really like the way that it feels, especially on my rec fam that muscle that's right there in the middle of the quad that you only really get to work if you're doing a leg extension and really helps to kind of raise the leg up. Well, here's the other angle, which is the right leg, right leg, yeah. The way I set this up, y'all, I put a relatively heavy weight on there, but I also put a resistance band on the pendulum arm there. So at the very height of the extension, I'm getting maximum tension, okay? Don't hate the player, hate the game. Bars, shout out to Tyrone Magnus, what it is. Uh, but once again, I got about four sets of 20, mm -hmm. four sets of 20, five sets of 20, maybe four sets of 25, I don't know. But I got a few reps here because it's not necessarily sy systemically fatigue. It's just, you know, a little bit of work. So we'll let this guy talk again. That's a leg day. Squat max, hip thrusts, pull throughs, leg extensions, a little bit of bike, a little bit of stretching. You can't do nothing more than that. So thanks for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe, or dislike. Whatever floats your boat, y'all. Appreciate the view. See you next time.